I'm Jean Nolte, editor at Fonz and Porter. And I'm Colleen Tauke, I'm the sewing specialist at Fonz and Porter. In this tutorial, we will show you how to make the block that goes in the quilt. Baby, it's cold outside. To get the pattern for this quilt, go to fonzandporter.com slash quilting quickly. Well, this is a great quilt for a cold day yes, because yes. it's flannel. Exactly. And it starts with two and a half inch strips of flannel and then you'll need some uh, fabric for the background. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just start from the center and work our way out. So, so here we go. The first thing you're going to need is that square. Okay. The next triangles are actually cut from the two and a half inch strips and we're going to use this template and you'll notice the little tip is cut off mm -hmm. and that makes it exactly two and a half inches wide. So we're going to put our ruler on top of the template here. And, and you're going to be able to position one triangle one direction then turn it and use the strip really efficiently so you right. can cut multiple so, pieces. Right, I'm just going to cut preparing. the first one here. Yeah, just as we prepare. Slid just a little bit there. Oops. Then we're going to cut the other side of this triangle. And then you would just continue here. I'll take that away for you. You would just continue using your template. Back and forth. And the ruler. Put that on top of there to cut the next one. And you can cut several Sometimes from each strip. When we see templates, we get a little worried about how is that going to go? It's not so hard after all. No. So. Now, the next thing we're going to do is use the triangle trimmer and we want the blue triangle trimmer. They come as a set of two, so you've got a pink and a blue. Right. You and note that we are using the blue one here to start with. And I'm going to just trim that off. And what we're going to do Flip is going to make an engineered corner. Um, sometimes when we talk about putting triangles onto a square, we go, okay, so but where does it fit? This makes it line up. Now, what I want to do here is line up each edge and you can see it's a little bit bigger than the triangle itself. So we're just worried about this little point here. Just that little tip. Line up the two edges and cut that little point off. And now you'll notice when you go to sew this triangle onto this square, it lines up perfectly. perfectly. <laughs> if you want to sew that. Okay. We're using a quarter inch seam. And um, so make sure you've got your quarter inch seam uh, Tried and true. Right. Ready now to go you'll need flannel. four of those. Gonna go all, all the, the way around. And and we'll just show you what we've done here. Oops. You put opposite sides on first. See, there's one. And right. You're gonna get the other one on. And you're going to press toward the triangles. And then when you have those two on, then you're going to put the other two on. Sometimes we get press. in a hurry and we think, oh, I have two of them. I'm going to put the other two on right away. But then you can't open them. So two at a time. Yeah, you got to and press in between. Press in between. Keeps your work nice and flat. So you'll yield a right. square and a so, square. So now you'll see that we have this center, center unit. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to do the same thing again, but with tan triangles so that we end up with the unit. You'll get really good that at looks this like process. This. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Now you'll notice the next row has a pieces bit different that shapes. are a little different. Hmm. Again, we're going to cut those. I'm going to put that out of the way. We'll cut those the same way we cut that triangle. They're just a little bit bigger pieces. We've kind of just blown that triangle apart a little bit. Right. So you're just going to set that on your strip, and we'll we'll leave that end for now. Cut this end. Right. Then we're going to flip it around. So if it's cold outside up. and there's nothing else to do, this is a great project for when you're indoors and uh, ready to, to sew and enjoy being indoors. So then you cut the other one. And again, you'll do the same thing. Just cut back and forth on your strip. Now, this one... Again, we're going to use the first two. We're going to use the blue triangle trimmer to cut the edges. And after we've put the first two on, 
Then we're going to put the, the opposite sides on. And when you cut the second set, you're going to use the pink. The pink ones. So think about that it's cold outside. Blue reminds mm. us of cold. And as we warm up, we're going to start using our pink triangle trimmers for the outer part of our block. So this one. Any way to remember to make these that details. Fit. And now you'll see when I put that on here. We'll know exactly where again, it goes. With that angle. Perfect. It makes that okay. line up just perfectly. It's nice to be able to double check yourself when you've got those trimmed like that. Then when you lay it on, you know you've got it in the right place. And quarter inch seam all the way along. One tip when working with flannels though too is also um, uh, a little bit of spray sizing or spray starch helps your flannels not Makes to stretch so them a little, so little much. sturdier. So our pieces have been pressed ahead. All right, so we'll go ahead and give that a quick press. Because in the past, flannels have been notorious for being kind of stretchy. Flannels today are a little um, tighter weave, a little nicer, but that little spray starch is These kind are of really nice. Kind of uh, insurance. Heavier flannels. Now we're ready to put these triangles on again. Mm -hmm. And again, we've used the pink triangle trimmer. Hey, it's the wrong piece. Goes there we here. go. <laughs> That's <laughs> not the right size. Okay. So it goes on top of the side where the two come together. Mm -hmm. At the intersection. So you'll put those the on same way all on things. all four corners. And then finally, the last thing we need is the outer row. And it's the same thing, only this is longer yet. We made those bars even, expanded them a little bit longer, so the outer edges. So you're gonna do the same thing. The first two that you put on, you trim with the blue, blue trim. triangle trimmer. And then the second two that you put on will be trimmed with the pink triangle trimmer. And then again, just tan triangles on, the on each edge. corner. And you're done with your block. Mm -hmm. Now you need 20 blocks to make this quilt and they're just set block to block in rows. The fun part is that when you put those kinds of blocks together, you get kind of a secondary design going on. So it kind of gives you almost a two for one advantage. Thanks for joining us. To see more of our video tutorials, go to our website.